Imagine for a moment that everything you've ever learned about the universe is turned upside down. That instead of the universe creating life, life itself creates the universe. This provocative idea lies at the heart of biocentrism, a revolutionary concept introduced by the visionary scientist Robert Lanza. Today we'll dive deep into this fascinating perspective that places biology and consciousness not as mere outcomes, but as foundational building blocks of reality itself. This provocative idea lies at the heart of biocentrism, a revolutionary concept introduced by the visionary scientist Robert Lanza. Biocentrism challenges the conventional scientific viewpoint that the universe gave rise to life and consciousness purely by chance. Instead, Robert Lanza proposes a radical shift in thinking. It's our consciousness and biology that create reality. Imagine reality as something not independently existing out there, but rather as something intricately tied to our perception and experience. According to biocentrism, consciousness isn't just a byproduct of the physical brain, but is fundamentally woven into the fabric of the universe. Lanza suggests that space and time themselves are simply constructs of human and biological perception. Without consciousness to interpret them, space and time as we know them cease to have meaning or even exist. This implies a deeply interconnected reality where observer and observed cannot be separated. It's a perspective that challenges centuries of scientific thinking and encourages us to reconsider our relationship with the cosmos. At the very core of biocentrism lies consciousness, not just as an emergent property of brain function, but as a primary feature of existence itself. Traditional science often struggles to explain consciousness fully, treating it as a mysterious phenomenon emerging from complex brain activities. But Lanza flips this notion entirely. He argues that consciousness is not secondary, but rather primary, fundamental, and essential. It is consciousness that brings the universe into existence through observation and interpretation. Consider how our entire experience of reality, colors, sounds, textures, is created within our minds. Outside of perception, these experiences don't exist independently. Biocentrism emphasizes that without conscious observers, the universe itself is undefined, much like quantum experiments that demonstrate how particles behave differently when observed. This positions consciousness at the epicenter, shaping the reality we perceive and experience each moment. Biology is central to biocentrism. It isn't simply life existing passively within the universe, but life actively defining and shaping reality. Lanza highlights how biological organisms are uniquely suited to create meaningful universes through their senses and cognitive abilities. The human brain, for instance, translates electromagnetic waves into vibrant colors, shapes, and textures. But without eyes and a brain to interpret them, these waves exist as mere probabilities, not concrete realities. Biology thus serves as the essential link between raw potential and meaningful experience. Lanza further notes how the laws of the universe appear finely tuned to support life, an observation often called the anthropic principle. Biocentrism argues this isn't a fortunate coincidence but a clear indication that life is not accidental. Instead, biology and consciousness actively create conditions conducive to existence itself, shaping reality rather than passively accepting it. Biocentrism radically redefines our understanding of space and time, concepts traditionally viewed as absolute and independent. According to Lanza, Space and time exist only as frameworks generated by our consciousness. Without an observer, these concepts lack meaning entirely. Imagine that space and time are like the operating system our consciousness runs to organize experiences. We perceive time linearly because our minds process events sequentially. However, experiments in quantum physics show that at fundamental levels, particles exist in multiple states simultaneously, defying linear time. Biocentrism explains these quantum oddities naturally. Time and space are constructs of perception, not inherent properties of the universe. This viewpoint aligns intriguingly with discoveries suggesting that reality doesn't exist in definite states until measured or observed, demonstrating that our biology is instrumental in constructing what we experience as the universe. Quantum mechanics, the most successful yet baffling scientific theory, finds harmony with biocentrism, Quantum experiments repeatedly show that particles behave differently depending on whether they're being observed. The act of observation appears to collapse particles from a state of potential into reality, a phenomenon known as the observer effect. Biocentrism elegantly explains this mystery by placing consciousness at reality's core. Rather than consciousness being an incidental factor in the universe, 
it becomes essential, actively participating in reality's unfolding. This resolves many paradoxes that conventional interpretations of quantum physics struggle to explain. According to Lanza, the universe doesn't exist independently, waiting to be discovered. It emerges dynamically, shaped by consciousness. Thus, quantum mechanics and biocentrism intertwine beautifully, reinforcing the profound idea that observers aren't passive spectators, they're active creators of the cosmos. Perhaps one of the most provocative implications of biocentrism is its unique perspective on life and death. If reality arises from consciousness, what does that mean for death, the supposed end of consciousness? Lanza argues that death, as traditionally understood, is merely a transition or shift in consciousness rather than its termination. Biocentrism suggests that because space and time are mental constructs, consciousness might transcend these boundaries. Death may be an illusion, a simple change in the state of perception rather than an ultimate end. In this way, biocentrism brings comfort and a new understanding to our existential questions. It challenges the fear of death by proposing that consciousness, being fundamental, might persist beyond the physical body's end. This profound insight has profound implications, reshaping how we perceive life's meaning and our own spiritual journeys. Biocentrism, introduced by Robert Lanza, revolutionizes how we understand our relationship with reality. By placing biology and consciousness at the center, it challenges the conventional narrative that the universe created life. Instead, it suggests that life creates the universe. It transforms our understanding of existence, perception, quantum mechanics, and even death itself. Biocentrism opens our minds to a radically interconnected cosmos, in which we aren't accidental observers, but active participants in reality's creation. Whether or not one fully embraces this paradigm, Biocentrism undeniably compels us to rethink our assumptions and offers a profoundly inspiring perspective on our role within the universe.